Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Edoras because we completed the Woodhurst quests in the last episode. We have got that trait point given to us uh, so that we can now use it. And we now have to carry on. Well, we don't have to, but we're going to be carrying on with the book, uh, the epic quest, book 12, chapter 10. We talked to Herobrand, went over to Brockbridge, and then got told to uh, talk to Nona and I think, Nona Horn, and I think we then talked to Corridan. And then uh, we now need to travel to Helm's Dyke, the entrance to the deep in the Westfold. Now, that is all the way over here, and we have yet to uh, to actually go here, so we can't just swift travel over there. We could go to Gapholt and then travel over here. But I know for a fact that doing this quest to the Westfold will, which is where we just have to go over here at the entrance to the Westfold, talk to Gandalf here, that is then going to eventually take us over to this area. It's also the starting point of the uh, quest line to get the final trait point in this area, which is the Helm's Deep quest line. Now, we're not going to do a full on, uh, you know, one episode, all the questings, because um, quite simply, I'm it, doing like multiple hour episodes in a row is a little bit uh, tiring, but also I don't have all the most time in today uh, to actually do that. And, you know, I, it, not that I had ever done any of the quests before, but I definitely haven't done anything near Helm's Deep before. I barely, like, I've mainly been into Hel Helm's Deep maybe once or twice ever, um, which I think just proves how little I actually know that area. Whereas with like Brockbridge and stuff like Edoras and stuff, I have been there before, so I kind of know the area. Really don't know this area around here. But either way, before we get into that, we need to go to have our Hobbit gift of the day. So we're going to go and uh, get that, some random relic pack. Actually, that's a very good point. I cleared out my inventory. As you can see uh, from here, I'm still using my level 90 bow. The reason for that is because I had a level 92 bow, as you may have seen. I uh, was deconstructing the items that I didn't need, and I, uh, instead of equipping, accidentally um, unequipped it or deconstructed the level 92 bow because I'm a bit stupid. So <laughs> we're going to have to wait a little while, but we're going to start getting level 94 stuff and maybe even level 95 stuff fairly soon. So we should be good there. But let's have a look at what we get from here. A tier three bloodstone gem of dexterity, which isn't the most amazing thing in the world, which also does bring up the point of, do we even have anything on our bows? No, we do not. Um, I could put some of these like morale ones, especially since I have five of them. In fact, I'm actually going to do that, I think. We'll do it on our sword as well. Oh, no, I meant to say yes. And then what else do we have here? Some vitality stuff. Let's put some vitality on here, especially if we've got a few. Um, you know, that's just going to be more and more health put onto us. And then we've got some stuff here, which um, it'll be nice to... Yeah, if we just put these two on, I think I'll be fine. These two uh, tier sixes, uh, which are just going to be um, in combat morale regen, which is always going to be nice. And it's good to have um, those things actually on us. So, either way, let's head over here. We're going to go ahead to a Gandalf, talk to him. I did a little bit of scouting on the wiki to find the quest line, so that's why I know that this is the start of getting to the quest line. I think from my brief understanding, we go to Gandalf, do a few things here, then go over to like Helm's Dyke, then go over to Martin, then go to Grimslade, and then go to Helm's Deep. I think. Might be in that order, might not be, but I know for a fact we go to those places at least once um, because I had to backtrack through trying to find the quests and we were getting to Grimslade definitely and then to get those quests we had to go do stuff over at Martin and to do those quests we had to go to Helm's Dyke. So there might be a bit more backtracking added on that, but I know briefly where we're going to be going for this, which is quite nice so I don't get too lost and uh, too distracted by the quests. But here we have Gandalf over here. Let's go talk to you, see what's going on. It's going to be an easy quest completion at the very least. So, oh, he's too far away. Aren't you always, Gandalf? There we are, 53k XP. We got a deep bestow to us, which is also complete quests in the Westfold. Uh, one out of 50, which is going to be nice. We still have to obviously go back and do the Eastfold and Kingstead uh, stuff. We'll eventually go do those. But for now, to the, uh, the Westfold, to the King's Aid. Search the road in the Westfold for the signs of Theoden's company. So that's good. Also, us getting closer to... I mean, we could technically do it now wherever we like we could just go up to like Woodhurst I think but what is all this 
place up the ends of Fargon Forest. But we could basically just go to um, to Helm's Deep eventually, and we can actually buy. I can't find out exactly where they are. I think they're near the Stable Master, probably. Yeah, here they are. I think. Yeah, veteran of Helm's Deep. That might be it. But basically, um, we'll be able to get the travel skill, which will be quite nice. Uh, to getting here, but for now we're going to ignore that uh, warband. We do not want to deal with them because they will probably kill us fairly quickly. And uh, even though we do now have um, press onwards, which is quite nice, it's a, a nice addition. I uh, I forgot for a moment whether or not we had actually used the trade points, but obviously we did to get that uh, that stuff there. Speaking of trade points as well, I did a little bit of searching around here. Because I recently started tracking all my trade point stuff. Uh, obviously, we've got broad acres and some Eastfold stuff here, I think. Oh, we found something. What, what is this? I'll, you spot a small gathering of people upon the road. We'll go talk to them in a second. But we still have this quest, <laughs> level 58, Path of the Hunt, uh, Path of the Trapper, rather, which um, is a quest line that gives us a uh, a trait point in Moria. So we're going to have to, at some point, uh, go do that because I only recently just did it on my main character, which I think says something about how much I forget these things, but that is going to give us a trait point, which is going to be useful for us. So, Refugee. I do not know if we will survive this so, assault. Best boat, go back where you came from. There's no place to be wandering. We made uh, we make for Helm's Deep, the last great stronghold in the West Wall. The four divisions are lost. Have you not heard? Uh, Eric Erkenbrand is gone, and as are Grimbold and Elfheim. Uh, last I was there. Um, our last hope is at the mighty Hornbug. Uh, if the people of West Wall make for Helm's Deep, then perhaps their then company did as well, for you did not see any sign of them coming up the road. Well, luckily for you, I know kind of exactly what they're doing. Uh, well, actually, not really. The terrified people uh, make for Helm's Deep, the last stronghold. Perhaps the king did the same. Yeah, we don't know exactly where he is, but we know he came in this direction, I think. Uh, do you need any assistance? Uh, no, we hope to reach the Hornberg by night. The enemy will not dare strike us there. We shall make good time when our horse is arrested. Okay, search for Theoden at Helm's Dyke. So, oh, let's get our war steed on. So that's going to take us over here anyway, which is good because we need to go here anyway for uh, this quest, which is rumors of battle. Um, you and Corridan have decided to travel to Helm's Deep in search of the king, while Horn and Nona seek out the Falcon Clan raiding party. Uh, I didn't realize they did that. I kind of wasn't reading it too much because I, I thought we were just going to move on to something, but um, that's where they've gone. That's fine. We have these helmets, which I think are... Oh, they are quite useful. I thought for some reason they weren't when I originally looked at them. So they're going to be good to get. Um, it's not going to be a complete completion now because obviously it's not got the tick next to it. Unlike this one, find search for third in Helm's Dyke. But um, that'll be a nice upgrade as well. So that'll be good. And then we can get some XP for finding Theoden. Hopefully. Hopefully he's there. Hopefully we find him. Um, otherwise we're going to have to go searching. But by the fact it's a, a ready to complete quest, I, uh, I am thinking that he will probably be there. So... We should probably go over the actual pathway, because then... We're gonna get attacked by these guys, but we can actually, like, not lose our war steed. So, we will uh, be making good time. Because if we lose our war steed, they're just gonna start attacking us, because they're gonna catch up with us. There is Martin. Uh, not looking so good. We will eventually go over there. I do know that for a fact. Uh, but I don't know particularly what we can be doing over there because uh, there ain't much, ain't much left. Unless it's like find this thing, or maybe search for survivors. So I assume the um, like the Urukai and stuff have attacked. So probably try and find some survivors, help them get out if we can. But we will find out when we actually get there. So we are up here. Westfold, uh, not the Westfold, we are in the Deeping Comb. But yeah, we're, we're relatively close, if only I hadn't just injured my leg. How long is that going to be? 18 seconds. So we are slowly but surely reaching here. We're pretty much here. I've, I've been here before, but only via epic battles. So uh, yeah, this is also, this is kind of like where I stop knowing what I'm doing, where I'm going, and how things are set up. Oh! I think we may have found them. They're all popping into existence. You'll come to Helm's Dyke and the mouth of the deep. Oh, we uh, we will just complete these. So we need to talk to Gambling, the old, and King Theoden. So we found Theoden. 
that's fine. And then we'll go talk to you, you as well. To We're going to have us. a look at what we can get here. Do we have any that's going to give us fate? See, that's why I think I mentioned it, because we lower fate. I'm okay with lowering fate because we just increase fate with our legs, but we also get a massive increase in uh, agility and vitality, so I'm actually pretty happy. Also, almost over double uh, physical mastery rating, so I think I will go for Pride of Helm's Deep, um, as much as I do like my... Vitality, I'm not happy about losing 81 fate, I'm okay about losing 4, so we'll, we'll go do that. Oh, do we just complete book 12 double. then? That's cool. Okay, book 13, chapter 1, the lay of the land. Follow the road that runs from Helm's Dyke to the Hornburg. Talk to Gimli at Helm's Dyke and talk to Thurkatel uh, along the road from the Dyke. So we'll accept that one, see what's going on there quickly. We're also going to go do this because this is going to lead us on uh, to our next... Um, trait point. So, this is one of the quests we need. Ask Gambling for news. So, we'll, we'll, we'll be focusing on this uh, set of quests for the moment, I think. That'll be a good idea. Um, so, the last great stronghold, we need to speak with Aomer. But I am going to quickly talk to Gimli. Hail, friend. I knew that you would not miss this chance. And... The other two are uh, follow the road that runs from Helm's Dyke to the Hornburg, talk to Thuckertel along the road. They're all over there. Oh, that, uh, that's a nice looking, nice looking place. Um, what we are going to do though is we're going to talk to Aema quickly, since he is here and they're over there. Uh, you ask Aema why the Rohirrim do not attempt to hide the uh, ride the enemy down there on the plain, since the riders have such a great advantage on horseback. It's true that we are far stronger than any foe on foot, but... Aemer trails off. Learn of the events that changed Theoden's course. Okay, so is this going to be a session play? No, just to travel now. I did not, it is not my wish to make dire preparations of the fate of my people. I, I will tell you of the events upon the road when Gandalf parted from our company and bade us come here. Okay, so we're going to travel now, but it's not a session play. Uh, okay, I don't know how this is going to play out then. Theoden's company parted with me upon the road and retreated to Helm's Deep. What news could have reached them that turned them from their path? Right. What what could have happened here? Is this Seal? Seal? That's not the guy we saw on the path previously, I don't think. Um, because their horses didn't have any armor or anything, and neither did they. Observe Theoden's encounter upon the road. So, are we going to, like, go up here? Aemon's memory describes Theoden's encounter with a man the company met on the road. Oh, me F12ing isn't going to work. Right, let's just uh, let's just try and read this one. So, um, at the last you come, but too late, alas, you bring two loads of strength. All has been gone evilly since Theod and, uh, Theodred fell. Yesterday we lost the Eisen and many good men with it. Hail, traveler. Are you here to help us? So, listen to Seol and the king.
Right then. So let's get back into our normal stance. We're going to go to Hulk and speak with Aema. Gandalf has gone off. We have been told, or they have been told, they must not go help. I assume at, we are just outside Martin, so don't go help Martin. Um, go to Helm's Deep instead. So Aema, let us travel back. So that answers that question. Let's go talk to Aema once again, see what's up. We actually get a new ring for this, which is quite nice, which gets a, a little bit of an upgrade. So we're going to go for the one in the middle, as usual, because they generally go light, medium, heavy, uh, stat-wise. So that's going to give an, us an increase in fate vitality and agility. We're probably going to put it on the copper ring of the Broadacres, just because we want to increase in fate. Um, we could do it on the ring of the Liberator, but then we lose that max morale. Um, and we're already losing a bit of max morale, changing out the copper ring of the uh, Broadacres, but we're getting the vitality increase by quite a considerable amount. We're actually losing uh, losing agility, but I think it's probably worth it. So let's go finish that quest. We'll go, uh, we still put that on. So we'll put that helmet on. We're gonna go, uh, I think it was this ring we wanted to swap out. Probably gonna put us down health. Nope, actually we got an increase in health, I think. Yeah, definitely an increase by, what, 6, 13 health? Which isn't the most amazing thing. Oh, no, <laughs> definitely not 13. 113 health. Uh, so that's obviously worked out in our favor, luckily. So we have so many quests to accept from here. Okay, that's interesting. Helm's Gate. Too young, too old. Dwarf expertise. And then over here we have a quest with Legolas. Keen Eye of an Archer. So I think what we'll do is we will hold off on these for the moment since we have a quest uh, generally around here. We're going to focus on these, I think, because they're going to give us that trade point. Um, so we we need to do a few things. This is not a good place to look. This is a good place to look, I guess. Oh, look northward. Yeah, so. Speak with Legolas about what we saw. You see a creeping darkness and smoke of the burning waste left behind by the marching enemy. The destruction is vast indeed. Count barrels of arrows stored at Helm's Gate. Okay then. Uh, so we need to cheer up men at Helm's Gate. Four of them. We need to examine four fortifications and examine the gate, which is right over here. So we'll start doing that now. And count the barrels of arrows stored at Helm's Gate. The gate is well kept and hardy, but could easily be crushed by as enemy siege craft. I don't think there's any way to get up there other than this, uh, the, the, kind of hills over here I think I saw. Yeah, this sort of entrance. Uh, I think in the epic battle you can get up there with a rope, but I didn't see any. So uh, we'll just go up a bit manually. That's fine. So cheer up men at Helm's Gate. I wonder how we're going to do that. I think we'll just focus on doing these for this episode. We'll probably end after this um, since we're now at Helm's Gate and uh, see what brings us for the next episode. But I, I guess the best thing to do would just be press delete and see if we can find these barrels and there was a fortification somewhere around here apparently. Oh, we only need to count the one, do we? That's fine, I'm actually happy about that. There's a fortification over here. Actually, I wonder what the map shows. So we've got these four things here, which I take it are the four we need to make better. Fortification is strong, but it will not keep a great host of the Urukai uh, out. Uh, we've got Dwarf Expertise, just this... Uh, orange ones and then a keen eye for an archer is around here so we will uh, just go around pressing delete see if we can find any arrows and stuff i think we'll focus on those two quests first um and then i think i saw a blue ring over here yeah yeah so defender so your one i need to cheer up you should acknowledge that this young soldier is indeed fearful enough to force you to yield to him okay we'll uh we'll work those out in just a moment i'm gonna focus on the other two, and then maybe we can think about how we're going to do those. I, I don't know how we're going to cheer them up. Uh, I guess we might have to read that actual thing. Um, the yellow text is probably the only bit we have to pay attention to, but it might make more sense if we read the white text up there. So, a barrel of arrows. There's another defender. So, that's the two over here, it looks like, and there's two over here as well. So, is there a fortification? Yep, down here it looks like. I think that's the last one on the map. Yep, everything else is over there. So, fortification is strong, but will not keep our great host of a fierce Urukai. Why is my mouse got the use icon still? I do not know. 
And it looks like we have maybe like two or three more barrels over here. If that's one barrel, that's another barrel. Maybe. Not entirely sure. Uh, we will find out, I guess. So, how are we actually getting over there? Oh, over the, over the gate. That would make a bit of sense. So, nothing over here. We established that prior to this. A barrel of arrows, which is probably that circle. Which we'll actually be able to confirm. Yep. So, it's probably a one, maybe two uh, left. So, I'll have a quick look at this. No, nope, looks like we have another one to pick up. Probably over here somewhere while we look for another fortification. Oh, yep. Here's our barrel. Which should then mean... There's also the other defender, which I'm thinking should mean that that quest is completed. Yep, and just one more fortification to look at. Probably down this pathway if there's nothing immediately sticking out right here. There it is. So that's that one done, and then we need to cheer up these men. So we'll see how that quickly works out for us. Hopefully it's uh, fairly intuitive to work out. So we'll start with this defender first, um, and then see. When I was a younger man, riding out for my first war fellow soldier was sing every, uh, before every battle, and our hearts were stronger when we rode. We had, he had a fair voice and clear, and he sang of peace, war, life, and death. Nobody sings today. Everybody is silent and afraid. I long to hear a song, but I daren't raise my own voice. I am so tone deaf that I'm afraid gambling would have me thrown off the dike. This man longs for fair music to gladden his heart before the battle. So, if I read that on my on its own, I could maybe piece it together, but I think ma reading this has made it a lot easier. So, I think we need to do sing. Uh, so, hopefully this is an emote. It is. The old man smiles and nods at your fair song, his heart gladdens. So what I'm thinking is, I don't know if this is the correct button combination. Looks like it is, because I'm getting a little bit of lag. This is the collection page, which is uh, Control c or Shift-C rather. Has pets, steeds, which um, we do not have enough of, because we only have... Actually, I don't know how many I have. We only have 23, and there's 162, so I need 162 of them. Uh, there's a few that I won't be able to get, though, for obvious reasons. Uh, but basically, if we go over to here, this should be the emotes, which we have 133 out of 191. I assume everything we need is going to be in this area, and it's going to be a little bit of lag to open up, but definitely not as much as it originally was. Hopefully, I can maybe, if I can't piece it together straight away, I can go and press that and look here and go... Uh, which one is it, you know, um, is it Inspect Gem, which it won't be because the yellow one's obviously ones we've obtained from uh, stuff like the dances or the uh, the um, treasure hunt event. But let's go see what this defender wants. Um, I've never seen a battle before, I'm terrified. Oh, yeah, however will I slay orcs and orcs when my hand will not stop shaking. I haven't felt calm since gambling handed me, handed me the sword. Uh, I've never seen a battle before and I'm terrified. I cannot think about the blood or the pain. Will I be able to act when I'm needed? I'm so restless, but I wish to be calm like my fellows. You should try and ease this young man's fears, for tonight is his first taste of battle. Maybe slash calm? Yep, I didn't think that would be one, but you calm your, your calm words to the boy have helped him tre his trembling stop. Okay, we've been lucky with the first two. Hopefully the next two are relatively easy. I'm also going to see how trying to use a war steed and getting over this uh, bridge is going to happen. It probably will go terribly, knowing uh, how things normally go, but it should be quite humorous, I think. Oh! Oh! So close to falling off. Right, I'm actually really don't trust this thing, but now we're actually over that bridge. Or the gate, technically. I'm a little bit... Uh, but you are... That is not safe. Sir, sir, that is that is not a safe position to be standing in. Just pointing it out. Right. Uh, I've never been in a battle before, but my father has been in many. He's, fearsome that, he's so fearsome that orcs throw down their arms and surrender to him, so my grandmother tells me. My father is probably forcing orcs to surrender near the fords right now. I do not think I am strong enough to kill many orcs, but I'm fearsome enough. But if I'm fearsome enough, perhaps they will surrender me. Do you think that I am fearsome? You should acknowledge that this young soldier is indeed fearful enough to force you to yield to him. 
So I don't think slash yield is a thing, but the fact they brought up the word surrender like two or three times means probably surrender is. And that is probably the best emote I've ever seen in my life. I just want to do that again. And just wag a little white flag. I've not actually seen that one before, but that is actually amazing. Um, I'm also surprised I spelt it right the first time. And then over to the uh, fourth guy, who the first two were easy. That one was maybe a little bit like more difficult to think of what it would be. This one might either be uh, really easy or might be terribly difficult. We'll see. Have you ever looked out on the beauties of the plains? I have known uh, it to be your last look at the god. And known it was your last look at the grasses touching the sky. Nay, do you protest? This is my last battle. Uh, do not protest. This is my last battle. I make my stand here. I will not retreat. My old legs aren't much, but I cannot. they cannot march, and they certainly cannot run. Here I will stand until I die. I only hope to kill a hundred Uruks before I go. You feel a swell of admiration for this young man. You should honor him and submit yourself to him as you would to a king. So I'm thinking I know the one it is, and uh, if I'm, I've got no real way of proving if I, it's the correct one. I'm just going to do a quick sweep of here. I don't think honor is one, which is not one I think it is, but I'm just going to double check. Um, no, what is? Oh, jumping jacks. I want, I want hero pose. That's cool. I'm assuming it's bow because you bow before a king, and submit yourself to him as you would a king. So, and it's his last battle. He's been in battles before. Let's try bow. You bow to honor this brave soldier, and as you do so, a tear comes unbidden to his smiling eyes. Ah, that's like the best one out of all of them then. That's actually like really nice. <laughs> Did not expect that to come out of this battle. But those four are now, uh, you know, they've been cheered up. Hopefully enough for them to, uh, to make it through this battle. Maybe not the last guy, as he said, he's probably not going to make it through. Hopefully. Hopefully he does. Maybe that'll be really cool. You know, he can he can die outside of war. We'll not have to die by Urukans. Uh, so we will see. But let's go talk to the three over here and then we'll be done for today. So keen eye for an archer. There we are. Oh, we have someone else is here with an Isengard invader. Why did you bring him here? Why did you do that for? <laughs> uh, then we'll go talk to Aragorn. Too young, too old. You did a kind thing to trip this man with your, uh, while your own heart probably needs showing itself. Is where you work to give courage to others. Alas, that uh, these troubled times must be ours. I only hope that we survive the night. We'll definitely survive the night, I'm pretty sure. And then over here, what do you think? The qu uh, you quite relay your observations. I do not. I could not say it better myself. They are good rock strong here, but it's not good enough. I feel for these men. Doubtly, uh, doubtly though they are. Uh, tonight I, make, I expect to make a great stand at the Hornburg, and if it is my last battle, I will take many an Uruk with me. Should we bow to him as well? I'm just going to bow to Gimli. Bow. I'm just going to, you know. He thinks it will be his last battle. The other guy thinks this is his last battle. Rightio, let's go talk to Gambling the Old, see what's the next quest, and then we'll get that one done in the next episode. So the scattering lords of the Westfold. The so Westfold we need to ask burns. Aema how you can help the Westfold, done. which we will do in the next episode. Then we'll go talk to Aema after. But that is going to be for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to go talk to Aema, ask him how we can help. And I think that might lead us up to Martin over there. Even though it's destroyed, we're somehow going to do some quests over there. Maybe, as I said, like um, find survivors or anything like that. Bring them over. Maybe get them to fight or anything like that. Uh, or just try and save them in general. Not everybody has to fight. But either way, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.